to deal, do, deal with the applied science than it does. The proof of the pudding is when you actually get involved on the ground to run a good organization. That's where the difficulty is, but it's not rocket science. Don't let them fool you. I'm going to stop here. So job less. Like guys and just support it. Watching out, boom, you don't know you just some representing live for D and D News Media. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to D and D News Media. Now today we have an exclusive video from a member of the UIC. Or should I say he was a member of the UIC? No, this is an aspect of the government. The UIC them have them own thing. So them different from JLP and then different from PNP. But whether JLP, whether UIC, whether PNP, the whole of them is a fraud, the whole of them is a scam. Them no business about the people, them. Them no care about the people. It's time Jamaica wake up. It's time Jamaica wise up. It's time the people of the world stand up for what them believe in. Too much of the fool in Nisha go on too long now. You understand? For years, PMP turned the people them in our jackass. For years, JLP turned the people them in our goat. You understand? Yeah. And now you have a company or a government, whatever they want to name, name the UIC. People now have to be careful. I tell them a long time, you know, you have people in a high place and you have people in a low places. You understand? You have spiritual wickedness who are gone. And nobody in a low spirituality like the government. So, when you hear them attack on TV and them attack nice and right, don't make them trick you. Politicians, them have to kill a goat or a hog or even a cow for, for win a seat. Or who have the stronger obia. You understand? So, nobody feel like so them business about you. Them all about them family, them friends, and the high people where them really check for. Because them have them rich friends. I tell them already, you know, Leaching partner with Andrew Olness and make billions of dollars. Andrew Olness and make billions of dollars. Sell out the land them. Take off some man off of some land. You understand? Get rid of some factory and sell out the land them. If you notice, you see house more than care right you now. The man then sell out the whole of land to a bank. A bank in charge enough of land them on see. You understand? NHT and the bank are one connection. So we're leeching him though. Him basically buy the property from the bank and build up the house them and push it through NHT. A one connection. So whole heap of money I go to Andrew. Whole heap of money float around through NHT and plus leeching I get richer and richer. People, the rich only I go stay rich and the poor are going to stay poor. You understand? I don't believe in the word poor and at the end of the day, me classify myself as rich. Because poor is sin and every man in the world to classify themselves as rich. You see me? Long before we could have ended up by a toothpaste. You understand? We are tell ourselves to be rich and then we see God start bless we. So the powers is in your tongue. The people them have to get up and wake up and talk up Uno can make Angelness them around the country so Uno can make youth I see a deal with the thing so Uno can make Mark Golden them a deal with the thing so the whole of them are fraud The whole of them are criminal Criminal in a jacket and tie Brother You see look at you them wanna see a chap line and a buy Benz and Ray You know about them, you hear about them Them love to be seen Everywhere they go, they love to be seen. But you see the man in the jacket and tie? Deadly. No trace, no evidence. Nothing can lead back to them. And them are the biggest scammer. The man them in the jacket and tie, all of them are this where the big scamming come to. And make some local man who is here by markets. And some local man who talk about this and talk about how much girl they have. It come back down. Straight from the man with the jacket and tie. But the man with the jacket and tie, him dressed decent, him dressed neat, and him asked him wife, honey, what you want us to do next week? You want to go to America? You want to, you want to go to Trinidad? Where you want to go? Professionalism at his best. The man on the road in Duns, him only know for chap line and buy Mark X 
and go and like him at the richest thing. The big man them, them not have time for that. Them full up for them bank account up, whole heap of money, and wear some look button up shirt, and wear jacket and tie. Are the best scammer them there. Them there are the neatest scammer. The government are the biggest scammer in the world. You understand? And if Jamaica da run like how America run, Jamaica would be a better place. Because I now say things don't go on in America, you know, but you have to give a corn feet. You have to give a corn feet. So let's say Andrew Wallace is going to Mark Golden and go and rub up the people them and I go on with some dirty act. If I did America them get prosecuted. No joke about it. It's time the Jamaican people them wake up. The politicians them they mix up in a cult, they mix up in a lodge, them in a high high dealer rants. So when them go so booms and do wrong, it's a one day attack. You understand? Look how much time you see politicians get in a trouble and a one day talk, not even two days. Everybody jump up today and then tomorrow and hear nothing about it. It is science of the highest level. So nobody that you see a man in a jacket and tie and red. You don't know what kind of cow he might kill for protect for himself. You don't know what kind of goat he might sacrifice for their in a power. That's why me as a youth, I don't grudge nobody. I'm in a business where a man want to have because you don't know where a man do for making money. But when you are a government official and your job is to manifest the greatness of your country and uplift your people and put your people on that platform as a government and you are scamming the people, you are taking the people for a fool. You understand? I'm there in a Panama right now and I don't see a patrol. I don't see no garbage on the road. You understand the place? Clean and beautiful. Jamaica, they are back at the class, brother. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to be like some other people. Who? Jamaica is the best, and Jamaica is this, and Jamaica is that. The only thing Jamaica do, kill we off, sick we off, and run we off. Because if Jamaica did so nice, why everybody around go for him? Why people are run go Canada? Why people are run go England? So it's only three things. So don't be fooled by people overseas. Them only are said that because then they are foreign. When they are Jamaica, they are not busy about Jamaica. Foreign, they are think about. So now make them a foreign call you talk about. Oh, Jamaica nice and rare, rare, rare. Then if Jamaica nice, left foreign and come back and you are dead. And one thing we do know, you know, we can't chat, we don't have to chat, you know. But we can't trick me, we can't fool me. If Jamaica is so nice and foreign is so hard, why you don't let foreign and come back to Jamaica come live? You understand? Since as foreign is so hard, let foreign and come to Jamaica come live then, man. If it's so long, for too long now, the people is fooling themselves. The people is living in denial. Every country in the world right now better than Jamaica. The living aspect the environment and both your spiritual dynamics in the spiritual realm. Your mind is relaxed and you feel safe. When I say killing now go on a foreign, when I say wrong things now go on a foreign. But when you're there Jamaica, as a normal citizen, you have to have your eye open wide. You lock your car, you drive, go in your yard. You have to look if nobody will follow back on you. You have to look if nobody will watch you. And then, you have to go foreign. And you live in Jamaica for how much years? And you have to tell me, say, oh, Jamaica is the best place. I wish I could have done Jamaica live like you because I can't do this and I can't do that America. Then, like you can't do this and you can't do that America. Come on back. And one thing, you know, I love everybody, you know. But people are hypocrites. Jamaica is the best, but yet still no five foreign of them no one come home back. One no one come home back. People are dead America too, you know, don't make them trick you know. People dead everywhere. And when place a bomb up America, all if a place a bomb up one time. So I eat me at tell and say the government is a main aspect. They call them for do for them part of the job. Them supposed to make certain say the country are run good. Them for Make certain say you can pay your light bill, you can pay your water bill, the food prices is at a stable. 
Nothing is stable, you know. Every minute I go in one store, something rails. So at the end of the day, you have enough people who can't bother with Jamaica. Them just go overseas, go live on thing. No, the UIC. There's a lot of things being exposed about the UIC. We can we cannot afford as a people to make this UIC come be another entity in Jamaica. Let me repeat it again. We cannot as a movement, we cannot as a people make the UIC come and be no farm a government in Jamaica. You understand? No farm. If we even have to go walk some science and make everybody in that run out, like said, them I get mad. We cannot have it in there. We don't have JLP. I rob the people them. We don't have Andrew Wellness. And Andrew Wellness, you need to repent. As a Seventh day Adventist man, God gave the power and the strength to run the country. You understand? And what you do? You run people out of the country. Andrew Wellness, a Yuma, a Yuma, because gold. Gold in a top, but you know, Marcus Gold in a you, Marcus Gavi a top, but they are telling the people Andrew Holness have head of a rule. Andrew Holness head of a rule. And Mark Gold in make me tell you this blind can't lead blind. So you better you go back. I hear you go go and chill because I don't know where you go. Mark Gold in cannot win an election. And the way the people them fool fool anytime election call again, Andrew will win again, you know. Remember, some media and DD tell you, anytime election call again, Andrew will win. Remember, I ask me, I ask you a question, and me, I see the future. Andrew only said, I win again because the people, them is a damn jackass. And Mark Golden, you, you not have not even one spot. You will never be a prime minister. All you have won. Viewers and subscribers, I'm going to listen to the tape, I'm going to watch the video. I want to listen and learn what this young man is saying. Can no found no things like these on no watch and on no don't share. On no love mix up and on no love negativity. This is a video we're not supposed to share. I want to listen what I go on. And also we are gonna have a channel coming soon. Where we are help people. So at the end of the day, sometimes we don't need to church and we don't need to people that have it. I have a channel, so anytime I assist or help nobody, we are going to upload the video and everything. So I'm look out for that. You understand? Viewers and subscribers, I'm jump in at the video. And also, soon not to be, I'm still a member of the United Independence Congress. I'm about to suspend my contributions to the United Independence Congress based on three reasons. One, like many supporters and members of the UIC, I do believe that the UIC ought to have a separate joint account in the name of the United Independence Congress and not the personal account of any senior officer or officers. Secondly, I'm also of the belief that the UIC should have been further along in its preparation for both local and general elections and that the majority of the revenues that the UIC generated as a consequence of contributions to the movement by members even such as myself should have been much more directed towards candidate support candidates preparation and the support of campaigns for winning election. That is why a political movement comes into existence. The third reason, and let me say something about the second reason before I even go any further. Many of us are poor, but it doesn't mean that we are dunce or stupid as some people would like us to think. We know that six million dollars, Jamaican dollars, is not a lot of money. Lest those of us that, that are in the diaspora forget, it's not a lot of money. I am still a poor man, but highly educated and experienced. I'm an experienced 
professional. Don't listen to the fallacy that because we take the time to communicate, that we don't have nothing to do, as some of us, some people want you to believe. Six million dollars can't buy any of the hobby small properties that I own. We are not as dumb as certain persons want people to think. We know that $6 million is not a lot of money. But yet, we still believe, well, I personally believe, that the support of candidates, their preparation and contributions to campaign is where the little bit of money should be spent. Thirdly, whilst I do recognize and believe in the tenets and principles of governance as espoused by the UIC, I have been made to feel as if my voice, my opinion, and just a basic sense of respect and regard is of little or no consequence. As a Jamaican, we are tired of that sort of attitude that seeks to treat some of us that may not be at a certain social level or a certain educational level or from a certain background as if we are nothing or we are less than. And I tell you something, at many times this behavior is exhibited implicitly, covertly, and at sometimes more open, more overtly, more explicitly manifested by certain people. They may be in business or politics, but there are certain figures who innately think that they are better than majority of us. So in a similar fashion, to the point at which I took the reasoned and can calculated and rationalized decision to resign as a vice president of the UIC, Equipment. I Move a careful reflection on the step to cease my monthly contributions to the UIC. Yes, I work hard. Not really employed now in the true sense of being employed, but I don't steal. I don't do extortion. I mean, I rob nobody. I work hard for my money. I make this decision with a heavy heart and a deep sigh. However, only a dumb dog or animal goes where it is not invited. Borrowing an expression from a man who speaks and acts as a leader, Daniel Bozra of the Jamaican Maroons, I will not allow anyone in their despicable obnoxious, pompous, and abrasive attitude to disrespect my mother's lunch money. I will not allow it. She and I sold in the Spanish town market and washed people dirty clothes to send me to high school. I worked and sent myself to university at UTEC and furthered, furthered my study at the master's and postgraduate level both locally and abroad. Don't be fooled. We are not all dumb and we are not time wasters as some people want to suggest. Therefore, we are not frightened by what people have, by the way they speak especially when it is to ascribe an overinflated, grandiose posture to themselves. Not frightened by it. To the Jamaican people locally and in the wider diaspora, the UIC is a registered political party. It does not belong to the founder, it belongs to you. Most Jamaicans realize that the two existing political parties that existed before do not mean us any good. This is evidenced by Jamaica's backward condition for years. Yes, they have done some limited good, but not without a plethora of injustice, 
Jamaica full of injustice, corruption and slackness. Unfortunately, with only six parliamentary candidates and a continuous attrition of officers and leaders, many of us, many of them, let me not even include myself, because my tenure was short and probably not so good for personal reasons. Many of them give excellent service. BYC is not in any condition to do one damn thing about Jamaica's conditions politically after nine years of existence. So when we talk about competence, all right, let us see from this how leadership works. My fellow Jamaicans, we have to do something about our situation and we have to do it quickly. We are at a crossroads. We should not allow ourselves to be caught off guard in what appears to be an orchestration of the controlled opposition. The dirty games of those who sit and they sit at the top and they hold wealth. Nothing is wrong with holding wealth, by the way. And they hold power, power to the people. They play games with our lives by pretending to be opposed ideologically, but they all rub shoulders behind the curtains. It's either we are going to get the UIC to serve us and our interest, or if it can't or won't work, we find another way. There's no monopoly on running or starting an organization a business or even running a country and though it takes hard work vision and strategic thought it is not exactly rocket science i studied engineering electrical and i did business management and i can tell you comparatively it takes a lot more academic rigor to deal, do, deal with the applied science than it does the proof of the pudding is when you actually get involved on the ground to run a good organization that's where the difficulty is but it's not rocket science don't let them fool you i'm going to stop here so jobless <laughs>